Hey guys, how's it going? This is how it looks when I'm recording my shaving videos. Just so you would uh, have an idea, a little bit at least. Stick around because right after my video and my shave of the day, you'll see how I use my camera setup, okay? Thanks. Hey guys, I am glad you are here today. We are getting ready for our shave of the day with our Mercure Futur. <laughs> Mercure Futur. Weird name, but uh, it's a great razor. Solingen Steel. That's what this is. And inside is a Persona Super Platinum. Uh, it's a great blade. Uh, always works great for me anyway. Getting ready to put on some Prorosso. Uh, this is some pre-shave. A lot of people don't know that it's a, a good pre-shave, and it is. It actually says that in the fine print on the uh, website and the ads, at least, if you look it up. Um, it may not say it on the container. I've noticed it doesn't say it on the container. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it would cost too much uh, for them to print that on there. Who knows? Um, I'm using a little different setup today with my camera. I finally have a, uh, a mirror attachment, and uh, we'll see how it does. So far, it's doing really nice, nicely. I love the smell of this Pro Rosso sandalwood. Of course, uh, I've said it a million times it seems like, but uh, Pro Rosso is one of the tops for me and at least uh, I love the smell. They're sandalwood scent and sandalwood is one of my favorites as well. Today I am using a brand new beautiful brush from Dennis Coluccio. This is a beautiful hand turned handle from the Beyond Wood Products. That's where this particular material came from. Tom Stone came up with some uh, product line he calls Beyond Wood Products. Look it up on the internet, Beyond Wood Products LLC. And uh, it's some awesome material. And right there is uh, what it looks like at this particular style. Today, sh Shave is being brought to you by The Body Shop. Yeah, this is The Body Shop's for men. Maca root shave cream. So, does anyone know anything about maca root? All I know is it smells good. It's a good smelling scent. I am uh, going ahead and wetting down my brush. This isn't the first time I have uh, wet this brush, even though it's brand new and I've never shaved with it. I went ahead and took the liberty yesterday to get it, uh, I guess, uh, broken in, you'd say. I went ahead and uh, tried it out, just uh, stirred up a good lather with it uh, just to see how it would do. And it did wonderfully, of course. And uh, I notice after you do that, it's always the same. After you do that, after you uh, wet your new brush with a silver tip badger they always uh, bloom and blossom out uh, the the fan I guess it would be called opens up oh yeah this stuff coats wonderfully I love the slick coating and I'm sure I could use a little more water just a little <clears throat> Yeah, now we're cooking with grease, <laughs> as my dad used to say. So, uh, how many of you guys were taught by your father wet shaving? You know, it's a tradition that uh, some of us were fortunate enough to have been taught by our fathers. Others, it's, uh, it's a long gone tradition of the past. It's not even something that is, um, you know, done any longer. 
And so fathers aren't capable of passing it on down because they don't do it themselves. So why not? Why don't we all uh, bring it back? I know I am. I am teaching my grandson. Because he should know some of the olden things of uh, years gone by are really some of the top best. They really are. That's my opinion. And you know, I should have probably uh, wet, wet this side a little more, but it's okay. It's just, uh, it's shaving magnificently, coming off really simply because it's so slick. And I had a good pre-shave. You know, if you guys, uh, if you guys go ahead and take a shower first anyway, it's, you know, you're going to have a great pre-shave just by doing that alone. This one is, uh, a two-day growth for me because I didn't get the opportunity to shave yesterday. I was really busy. I did a lot of editing yesterday. And uh, didn't quite have the time to, to do much else. I had to go to the, run some errands too, a lot of different errands. So the day I uh, was sort of tied up, mixing in a little more water inside my brush. But this stuff smells great, it really does. Maca root or maca root? Do you know what maca root is? I've never, never heard of it actually before now. Uh, I got my glasses. Yeah, I went to uh, Walmart and was lucky enough to find this awesome mirror attachment. I will, uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the video what it looks like, okay? It was about 26 bucks, $27, something like that. You know, a little, I guess a little steep considering but uh, you know I think it was well worth it and uh, I'm going to set my razor now the Mercure from one to three on the second pass this is against the grain the upward stroke And the way I've got my mirror set up today, I'm having to use the, the screen for my, for my shaving. And it's a little more difficult than looking in the mirror like this. I'm used to, to seeing myself in the mirror shaving, but I'm not used to seeing my uh, reflection in the monitor of my phone. Upward now, against the grain. Earlier, now with the grain on my neck. And I mentioned in a previous video that uh, I get a little extra growth for some reason.
I get a little extra growth right in this area here down to uh, about there so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to recut that area there I'm going to leave it with a two pass shave because I uh, the second pass I did on a, a level three setting and now I'm going to go across grain just just on this section looking in the mirror and not in the monitor to hope that that uh, gets it down knocks it down thins it yeah that was great yeah perfect I like to use the cream that's already on my face sometimes I do an extra pass just by what's left over see there aren't, aren't usually aware that you have that much on your face <laughs> but you do so this is with a three pass and I'm going across grain on this one just to make sure this is just to uh, keep me from having to worry about shaving early tomorrow got some major plans to do tomorrow so I don't have time all right So this was a three pass shave actually and I planned on a two and what's amazing is the fact that it uh, was really sort of a, a fast shave wasn't it that's it we are done dum, da, dum. <laughs> Feels nice. Smells nice. I'm gonna have to say that I am <laughs> I am definitely digging the Body Works maca root, but uh, it's hard to beat some sandalwood. I have some uh, sandalwood scent coming in the mail from Phoenix Artist Accoutrements Artisan and accoutrements and uh, I can't wait for that to get here that should uh, be here within a couple of days nothing nothing major with the mail holding it up I don't think it shouldn't be it just should just pop right in maybe maybe tomorrow that would be nice I placed the order yesterday uh, right now I'm going to put on some, uh, by the way, that was my Bay Rum, I'm sorry, my Clubman Pinot Bay Rum. Yes, Virgin Island Bay Rum. This is a unique scent. It really is. And uh, it's some very tingly Bay Rum. I like that too. And right now I'm putting on some uh, Dark Obsession. This is a beautiful scent and uh, a great thing for your skin by Calvin Klein the scent is so awesome I've said before and I'll say it again the scent is so awesome that I am uh, going to have to buy some of their cologne their cologne's a little pricey for their, uh, well, I mean, it's not, it's not like Green Irish Tweed by Creed or anything, but it's, uh, their cologne is a little pricey. I mean, for what I'm used to, to spending at least for colognes. 
or what let's let's rephrase for what my wife allows me to spend for colognes okay dark obsession calvin klein smells good that's it guys i am finished ho status you betcha <laughs> and a two thumbs up. Thanks for being there, and I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned because in just a second, I'm going to show you the new setup for my uh, mirror for recording here in my bathroom. Awesome. Peace, guys. This is my camera setup. I will show you a little bit about how it looks. See these buttons right here on either side? Push that, and this springs open. Then you can remove the camera. There's what it looks like right there. It suctions right on to the mirror. Pretty unique gadget. You can close it like this. And you want it to open. You have your buttons here. There it is. Perfect little gadget right there. You want to pull your mirror connection off. You pull this little tab right there and it breaks the suction. This is the piece that forces it down, that makes it suck on and stick. So you would, let me see if I can do this. I probably can't, honestly. But we will try. <laughs> I can't break the suction one-handed. I apologize, guys. I am sorry. Yeah, it's on there, man. This thing is, it's on there. I'll have to use both hands. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Set the camera in right there and close her down. And unopen it there. There you go. Sweet, huh? About 27 bucks, I think. Walmart. Well worth it. This is it, the stuck up window and vent mounting kit by Scosche or Scoche. This is uh, what the box looks like. And uh, it also doubles as a GPS holder for your dash or for your car, your mirror, your window, whatever you need it for. It's perfect. Rotates completely 360 degrees. It's ideal for uh, iPod, iPhone, Android devices, smartphones, and more. It's clamping arms open to 4.25 inches wide to fit larger devices. And like I said, swivels uh, 360 degrees. Very awesome product. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here.